Hi guys and hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about this ballad of songbirds and snakes by Susan Collins. This will be a non spoilery one, aka quite a short one, and I'm gonna do a spoilery one as well, separate video. So once you read the book, if you haven't yet, you can go there and rave with me about it or rant another one. So I know before this book was released, there was already quite a lot of people concerned and it's like, okay, so it's gonna be from like Snow's perspective, like prequel, how Snow to be, the Snow we know in uh, like Hunger Games, which was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to read it. And I was absolutely the same. No, actually I was even more um, stronger on this because like, I don't want to read about Snow, not Snow, please, not Snow, it's like, it's one of the most horrible characters to read about, probably, if, of all the books I have read so far. And I have read a lot of books. And I am, maybe I should say this uh, as well, I'm a huge fan of Hunger Games, okay? I love the original trilogy so much, so much. And the first book I actually reread, I think, last year already. And I want to read the rest of them. I love the movies so much. I just, it's one of my, my babies, you know, my jam, like my, my little thing. And I loved it. I love it so much. So even though I do love the original trilogy, I was still kind of like not sure how I feel before I went to this book. And I know a lot of you guys think the same, especially when um, the drop that it's gonna be about snow, everybody's like, oh my god, why, why? And I still don't know why, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but in general, this book, yes, it is about snow. It's about snow growing up. Well, not really growing up. He's already like a teen in academy uh, in the capital it's post-war so it's like 10 years after the war uh, in Panem between like um between capital and the districts when the districts lost and then the Hunger Games were introduced so it's like 10 years every year tributes from districts come and have Hunger Games of course it's not the Hunger Games that we know in the Hunger Games series it's like before that it's like very uninteresting they have this like big stadium arena where they just kids run around and nobody's interested in this so the idea of this book is that snow is in an academy and he's very really poor like his um after the war his name still stands but they have no money like he lives with his grandma and a cousin and his parents are gone and um basically he is pretending to be rich but he's really poor basically like poor poor uh, about to lose his home um so the only way for him to survive is to win this contest in academy um, by mentoring a hunger games person uh, from the district and then getting this person to win and that mentor gets a award enough to go to university and then once you go to university you get education blah 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 and supposedly it's enough to survive like if you don't then it's it you're done it's not his perspective that's what he thinks so we are in his mind from like his graduation time, like the last year at Academy. So he's like, I know 18 maybe. I don't remember if it was said or not. I didn't really care. And um, the idea is that he gets um, Lucy, who is from District 12, and he has to mentor her, mentor her um, to win the Hunger Games, to basically survive. And again, it's very uninteresting. It's boring like nobody cares for that so the kids have to like write essays come up with ideas how to make it more interesting and it's like very weird but at the same time somehow it's still very very boring and we have a quite a big chunk of this and then he gets close to Lucy the, the tribute from uh, District 12 uh, which is actually okay maybe I'm not, I'm not gonna say this it's maybe spoilery okay keep in mind shut um but then we also have like half a book is past Hunger Games and how, what happens and how, how like the time past Hunger Games takes place and how politics go and all that. And I kind of expected, okay, maybe to be more interesting, but again, it was extremely boring, like really, really boring. So I guess to wrap this whole thing up, like this, whatever review I'm doing, like non spoiler one, it's like, it's a very boring book, like very boring. And you are forced to read it from Snow's perspective and it's the only point of view and it's just it keeps going and going and going and then after that going more it just it never stops and it was not interesting not even a bit I'm not saying Susan Cullen did a bad thing she did a really bold move writing about Snow I just I don't think we needed it and I think it proves once again point that once the trilogies or whatever series is done do not touch it because even though Hunger Games is such an iconic series and I love it dearly. I still think this book 
you didn't like it, there's no need for this book it actually like there's absolutely zero need we don't need to read about snow because we all hate snow like she he's one of the most hated characters like how i don't know it was maybe supposed to be the deem arc, arc that didn't work i don't know i don't understand it and i don't like it and i really don't like the book and it's up to you to go and read it i do agree that some people will probably love this book but i do anticipate that majority of the people will not like it at all because it's like the writing I don't know if it changed that like maybe I don't know even it's not problematic or anything to the point where like as long as you accept that snow is creepy and just weird and just like he does not agreeable things so in that way it's not problematic but um, in general it's just it's not that we, we, we don't need it even as a die hard fan of Hunger Games we don't like no we don't need it and once again I respect Susan Collins so much for taking such a bold move of course nobody knew how it's gonna go and maybe maybe I'm gonna be a minority here in the end and everybody's gonna love it maybe it's just me but I just really don't think we need this book and I read it and I don't feel like I needed to read it of course I was gonna read it because it's hungry but other than that it's like I don't know it's it's conflicting thing and if you're questioning yourself you want to read this do you really want to put yourself through reading snow's perspective i mean it does talk about history but in my opinion not enough and i'm just like i don't know i don't know i'll talk more about this obviously in a spoilery uh, video uh, if you read this book come talk to me if you know for sure you will never read this book come talk to me get to know all the juicy details and just scream with me together yeah so then it, it guys let me know if you read this book if you're planning to read it what are your thoughts again maybe i'm a minority here i don't know it's just my personal opinion here um yeah so let me know all of that in the comments and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye